Hello guys and welcome back to Network Gaming. My name is Andrew and this is our Sri Lanka playthrough of Crusader Kings 2. Now, we've carved out a nice empire for ourselves and we also might want to um, get in on the the, the attacks on Rash Rakuta. But, um, but basically I'm, I'm a bit worried about the strength of my vassals because Palava's getting quite big. Um, Everyone has territories down here, which I can't abide because they're all joining up in factions, because they all want various things from me that I can't give them, like, um, you know, Rajdom of this place and stuff. And I can't, I, I'm not going to be doing that. So, my solution for this is that we take a bit of time and we start revoking some vassal, uh, vassal ships, um, starting with Madurai. Because this does two things. One, it will make them weaker. Uh, it'll split up the, the vassals, allow me to take them on one on one, um, and and therefore slaughter them. Uh, and two, it'll make me stronger because every province I get, I get to leave that for my son, and that makes the game much easier later. Now, at the moment, what we want is um, oh, I might th try and. I give you a gift. Yeah, okay. I think we just gained a little vassal ship over here for free. So that's well, not for free, but you know, for without any fighting. So that's nice. Um, I'm going to see if I can expand my retinues again. I can't, or at least not with what I want to expand them with. Uh, I am interested. I realised last time that because I've founded um, Tamilakam, I can claim Kanara, and I may very well do that before we start going to war with the vassals, because I want to use them against this place and then go back and, and hunt them down. So we're going to do that. Uh, no, I don't want to conscript merchant ships. Uh, what I want, do want to do is raise my levies. We're going to combine them all and move them over here. Um, hopefully they'll be too busy with warring up here to come fight me down here. I can call in allies, but I don't want to do that because that's a useless little kingdom up there. Uh, two of see, this is exactly what I'm talking about. These two are going to go to war over this area here, and I'm not okay with that. I want uh, well, I want I want control of of these areas, frankly. Um, so, or at least I want them to stay in their assigned areas. And what I've, this is mostly my fault because I've given them these places down here, made them powerful, and then left them to their own devices. What I should have done, well, no, no, I shouldn't have done anything different because this allowed us to gain a load of territory quickly. But uh, what I should be doing now is bumping them off and getting rid of them. And that is exactly what I plan to do. So we're going to combine this army and move it over here. This army too is going to follow behind. That looks promising. That indicates that they're raising armies from provinces which have no, either have very, very little men left or uh, are very, very annoyed with their liege lord. So either way, those men will not be a large threat, hopefully. Uh, so we're going to march down there. We don't need our vassals for this, hopefully, anyway. I mean, it depends. If, uh, if Rashtrakuta start um, hiring mercenaries, we may... Ooh, we may very well need it. I hate when the names in this game do that. I really hate it. That's so ugly. Uh, okay, so it looked like uh, Maharashtra. Maharashtra? Maharashtra has um, has finished with its civil war. Uh, hopefully they don't get involved down here. I doubt they will. They look like they have a different... Um... Oh no, they have the same uh, house. That's interesting. Hmm, they have the same house. Um, but now is as good a time to strike as any because this is under a regency with a female um, incumbent, so I'm okay with attacking that. Right, we're going to split this army in two so we can keep an eye on what's coming towards us. Um, what else is there to do? Nothing, really. Okay. So I like that we gained this for free, that was useful. Don't know why that army is just standing there. We could probably 
put that away. Oh, he's a peasant leader. Oh. Become marshal. Ha, <laughs> you're kidding me. Right. Um, ah, here we go. Here's the inevitable counterattack. Let's just crush it. Uh, in fact, no, let's just crush it. We'll put some good fighters in there as well. Like that, and hopefully that should be good enough to take them out. Yes, it looks like it is. Most of my force seems to be on one flank for some odd, bizarre reason. Uh, which is probably why this battle is taking so long. But now we are fighting them here. Hmm. Okay. Good. Excellent. Excellent. And that should be it. Now we can follow these guys to this place. Nope. To this place. Yeah. Um, while these guys down here finish up the siege. Sixty-four years old, and still possessed. I love it. Uh, okay, so we killed them. We're going to move back down here and besiege this place. Uh, it looks like Pala is going to win this. That is annoying. Pala is definitely, or Palava, is my most powerful vassal at the moment, and I'm not really happy. Ooh, I'm not really happy with him being in in control of such a large amount of land. But what has happened up here? It looks like the inherit this kingdom has passed to. Someone I attacked earlier. Wonderful. I was not expecting that. Hmm. Okay. Well, it's not great. It's not great at all. Uh, using a smuggled in rope, someone escapes. Um, throw in the ublet. Well, how have you say that French word? Uh, we're not going to attack that. We're not going to attack that. I was hoping to build up some some uh, gold here, but uh, it looks like I'm not going to be able to. Oh, that is bad enough that we're going to go and attack it. Hmm, that might be a problem. They seem to have raised a lot more armies than I thought they were capable of at this point. So that's not great. Um, hopefully they stay distracted up here. It looks like they're not throwing their full force against us, which is good. Uh, oh, okay. Uh, Virabahu is nowhere to be seen. You can always find him in the courtyard, playing with his swords and practicing his sword fighting with older men. Um, let's have him grow into a great knight because those are all good uh, things. Good, that's great. Uh, let's follow these guys. <clears throat> Destroy them and uh, then come back and besiege this place again. No. Oh. I don't mind attacking these guys. If we just march up and down here defending this uh, assault, that's fine. Ooh, okay. They increased the amount of units there. 23rd of September, 10th of October. We're going to catch them. And as long as no one reinforces them, they should be destroyed here, or at least severely mauled. Yep, and they were. These guys are heading good. We're going to catch them too. I find that in these games, in these paradox games, you always have to keep a really close eye on when people arrive in places because otherwise things can go wrong very quickly. Uh, so if we just move around sweeping up their, um, their levied forces, that seems like a reasonable plan. Let's see if I've got someone better to replace this guy, him. Okay, this is going relatively well, to be honest. I don't see any problem with how this is all turning out. This should finish very soon. Okay, victory there, victory there. Gonna move in here. Um, I'm not going to storm that because I don't like storming temples. They tend to kick me in the teeth right when I'm not expecting it. Uh, we won against that piddling little army. 
Will I get there first? No, I won't. So I'll go there. Oh, oh, he stopped. Very good. Okay, we'll kill them. Move over here. Or move that way. Either way. Um, so this is going okay. I mean, I think soon they'll probably give up and give me the province anyway. I wonder what these guys are doing. Oh, they're at war with everybody. Wow. Uh, okay, I won against them. Righteous imprisonment for this guy. Indarvman. Where is he? It's this guy. Um... Because he wants to fabricate a claim on the Raj of Kalinga. Where's the Raj of Kalinga? I thought Kalinga was... Kalinga's here, isn't it? Oh no, it's not. Kalinga's there. Hmm. Well, I want to give it to somebody. I don't want to give it to him, because clearly he's going to whine. And I don't want to give it to him. Uh, Desires the Raj of Kalinga. If I give it to you, well, we'll we'll see in a second. Actually, I'm gonna wait for a bit. Okay, I'm gonna wait another tick and then assault this place. Actually, well, yeah, we'll assault it. There you go. Uh, now are you going to give it to me? Come on. You know you want to. Yeah, there we go. Can move our men back. Cynical. Cynical is not that good a thing. But I'm okay. I'm okay with that. It'll give him one plus one intrigue and I'm okay with that. Uh, I won. Excellent, excellent. Okay, we are going to expand our military if we can. Yes, we can. Excellent. I'm going to combine these guys here. Then what we're going to do is we're going to start revoking things. So, I'm going to revoke this. and see what he says. I do hope he goes to war. And war it is. Okay, since he's gone to war, that is good. That means we can um, we can revoke some of his uh, other stuff as well. I think. Um, why are you? Control. Oh, budget deficit. Oh, that's not good. Huh. Just is a good trait. We're going to keep that. What I am going to do, actually, is um, these guys don't have that many troops, so I'm actually going to uh... Ooh, No, okay, we're going to move out of that territory. We're going to disband these. Oh, no, these are better news, so we're going to carry on moving with them. We are going to keep only a couple of troops. We're not going to keep the whole lot because it's draining my coffers, so we're going to split off um, this one and this one. Not that one. And we're going to tell them to go home. And that should bring our balance up a little bit. Let's see how that affects the balance. Yeah, that's good. Okay, <clears throat> we're going to keep it like that. Uh, we're not going to... I'll be merciful. We're not going to um, besiege that because these guys appear to be besieging it and I don't really want to help them more than I want to pursue my own war. So, looks like... Um, what are we doing? There we go. Looks like these guys have got another revolt on their hands, yet again. In fact, two at the same time. Nope. Um, 
So once I've taken... Ooh, oh, okay. It all united. Excellent. So we've got claims on both of those things now. Oh, I'm in minus budget. Wow. Okay. I can usurp this. I don't know why, but I can. Um, I am in major negative budget right now. I didn't think about that before clicking it. Okay, we won that. Now we're just going to besiege these two provinces. Let's put you in half. Move this one to here. For some reason... Ooh, Jesus Christ. Okay, we're going to combine these guys. Uh, because they're involved. Also, these guys appear to be attacking Puri as well. Which is great. Uh, are they at war? Or are they not? Okay, you two can fight each other, that's cool. Um, I'm not foolish enough to walk off this mountain. Um, Gregarious is a good trait, I'm okay with that. What is this? This is jungle, and I am a jungle commander, if I recall correctly, so we're going to use and abuse that. And move in here. Yeah, you can come take me here, that's fine. Oh, I do hope this goes well. What is happening here? He is in the same province as me, at war with me, but he's not fighting me. What on earth is going on? I do not understand. It does not compute. Uh, okay, we seem to have... Um, uh, I don't really know what's going on here. Uh, we seem to have... Um, this is freed up, so... We're probably going to move down there in a sec. Although, I don't really... I don't really know what's going on. I couldn't say. I would love to fight that army, but um, it doesn't look like they're going to let me. Okay. Now they're going to come and assault me. But they're not really going to assault me. They're just going to stand in my province. Or their province, technically, I guess. Is this a bug? Have I found a bug? I don't really... Well, I don't look a gift horse in the mouth. I'm going to say that this is perfectly legitimate and carry on with my little war. So, uh, army levies wise, we have 2,000 men not raised and 564 men sitting on that hill over there. Uh, that's annoying. Uh, money wise, can I get more money from loans or is that only an EU4? I think that's only an E or four. Hmm. Time account and bank up, right. Well, it's annoying. Hmm. I wonder what you're doing. Second of March, I guess we'll find out if this will lead to an assault. Oh, okay, somehow that did, but um, the other guy's not getting involved, so. I'm terribly okay with that. <laughs> I don't understand what's going on with that. Maybe they can't pay that army. Maybe that's the thing. That's interesting. I've never seen that happen before. Okay, so we've captured that place. These guys are going to come back. They are clearly deceived by the fact that they've already got an army there. They think they're going to win this, but they're not. If I could capture him, that would be absolutely fantastic. Okay, so we're at 86. Uh, these guys are probably going to siege me down there, but that's okay, because I'm holding one of his home provinces. Still not going to. Okay. Okay. Right, now you're going to accept it. Good. So now that's mine again. 
That is a good thing. I'm going to move these guys back down here and disband them on the way. I have no idea what's going on with that army there, but, uh, well, I'm not going to look a gift horse in the mouth. These guys are my next target when that rolls around. 19, nine, well, 919, sorry, is a date to look out for because that's when we're going to have to attack them to complete our nice little hook around the bottom of India. These guys are now in control of the whole thing somehow, I have no idea how. Deceitful or honest? Oh, I don't want either of them, but I guess deceitful. Um, okay, so we're gaining money again. We need to build up some reserves before we go to war again, so I am going to look to uh, revoke this place, but um, but not act on it for a while, because I want it back, but I don't want to, um, I don't want to fight for a bit. Okay, I can do it straight away, but I'm not going to. All right, so we've done a little bit of, uh, of backstabbing in this episode. Um, we've also expanded a little bit and taken back some of our, our territory. Um, as soon as possible, once we've sorted out the vassal situation, and I feel like this guy can die without leaving a mess for everybody, um, I will, um, I'll start expanding again. But until that point, I don't really want to expand and then find myself at war at home, because that would be a nightmare. So I'm going to look to destroy as much of this, um, as much of these guys as possible, <clears throat> so that I can, um, well, so that I can go to war without, you know, feeling like I'm going to be stabbed in the back. Um, so thank you as always for watching, guys. I do hope you enjoy this series, and I'll see you again next time.